Hi guys, my name's Lindy and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that have been regular watchers, viewers and listeners for the last um, eight years or so, you will have noticed there's been a bit of a gap between the last video and this one. Um, so here I am again. Um, it felt like the right time and the right place to record this. So I hope you are all okay uh, during these non-stop times of phenomenal change. So I'm going to leap straight in. Um, as you know, the way I work is it is not planned. It's not scripted. Very rarely do I have anything written down and it's all on um, instinct, intuition, straight from the heart, channeled, intuitive stuff. So um, I'm going to start with saying um, here we are nearly in the middle of June 2023 and if anyone is expecting the intensity and the internal and usually external pressure upon themselves to slow down um, that is not going to be happening because we are now in such a phenomenal fast-paced almost like a, a river that has become a series and a sequence of rapids movements of consciousness and inner change in people and global change that once you are in that flow and in those rapids and on those water slides you cannot stop yourself and scramble back up again so things have accelerated to the point where everything is in that zero point field of now consciousness but that is going at um such a phenomenal speed and yet there is that stillness in the now consciousness so there's almost that not exactly duality but two ways of viewing it really going at phenomenal speed and phenomenal vibrational state whilst hitting zero point field of consciousness where is that is that very center of, of stillness so you've got all of that going on and of course the complete convergence and mergence and merging of one's potential alternate realities parallel realities realities that are running at the same time as now all converging um so we also seem to have this opportunity of where if we if we visualize ourselves as a flower and i'm talking again all in terms of your consciousness if we visualize ourselves as a flower and and each petal of that flower is a fractal or an expression of us as the soul or as that flower then many more of those petals that we weren't aware of of our flower are now when we're now becoming more aware of i was going to say are now more available but that's not true our consciousness has risen so we are now more aware of them and we're aware if little fractals have been off somewhere you know and almost like soul retrieval retrieving those um we are aware of of that whole I was going to say lotus and it's, it's interesting I'm saying lotus because um, the energy of Kuan Yin seems to be really strong at the moment and you know the way by now if you've been following me for years you know the way I work and the way I explain quite complex things in very basic straightforward talk because I'm you know I'm a very down to earth girl and and straightforward talking as well sometimes to the point of bluntness hopefully never rudeness but sometimes to the point of bluntness so we we have an opportunity and, and it's an instinctive one it's instinctive to tune to different wave bands of consciousness to help wherever we are on our journey to help that 
acceleration into our unified state. Um, the Kuan Yin, the Kuan Yin energy seems to be very strong at the moment. That is something that has been coming certainly to me for three, four, five weeks now. And uh, when I visualize um, the flower, and fractals of a flower, I'm just seeing lotus continuously. So I'm, you know, automatically aligning myself with the fact that's because I'm tuned to radio station Kuan Yin. And that is the way I like to explain it. It's like tuning to different frequencies or sounds or radio stations. Um, so that's going on. And let's just talk a little bit about photonic lights while we're at it, because, of course, it's all links with photonic light. So through the light coming in and through the light from the sun, there is interwoven within that multiple codes. Um, I wanted to say codices, um, but codes um geometric shapes the data information that informs our electronic magnetic human vehicle of how to operate so rather like getting a new set of instructions for your car it's along the similar kind of lines so there is much more now than I mean than I've personally ever seen before in my lifetime codes coming in via photonic light with information helpful to the integration of the acceleration it's all rhyming of consciousness within us as a vehicle so these come in um in ways sometimes subtle ways and sometimes not so subtle which means our operating system or our human vehicle is maybe operating differently to how we've experienced it before is needing different things to how we've needed them before um this all links with light language, which is decoding, decoding of photonic light. Um, it all links with sound, it, it links with all of that. So there is a huge influx of information coming in. Now, where this can be um, a little bit complex is when it hits the human vessel when we have entanglements whether they are our own emotional entanglements from this life or from coexisting realities or alternate realities or other lives i'm talking about the same thing whether they are quantum entanglements between us and other people Whereas as quantum energy, one comes into a rotational field of energy connection with somebody. And then when one goes away from that person, they, they those particles, those people are still rotating and still having a profound effect upon one another, no matter how far away they are, no matter if there's contact, non-contact. Whether these entanglements come from the pain body, um, wherever they come from, if they are not a resonant frequency match for where one's consciousness is pushing one internally to flower and open up into, there is, um, in effect, a clash in, almost of energy um, resistance in the ele electromagnetic field when it comes up against a frequency that is not matching the predominant frequency 
that soul or vessel requires. Let's translate this simply. If you are wired and your destiny in this lifetime is to shoot for Olympic gold and to open up in your ascended, more conscious form, anything non-ascended, heavier soul magnetically programmed junk or gunk from this reality this life experiences or coexisting parallel experiences and existences will be affecting and causing a different sound and vibrational clashing resistance state to the higher zero point unified state of consciousness that your vehicle is attempting to operate at which means all of that stuff has to be I was going to say recognize, but you don't always have to recognize it to let it go. But the nature of being human is sometimes we do have to recognize what it is. And then that causes a release and letting go. But sometimes it can be done when one doesn't even realize that is happening. And when one doesn't even realize that um, that process is underway. But often we have to become consciously aware of what we're letting go but not always so there are different ways and of course the photonic light codes and shapes and sounds and language light language within it are helping this so helping break it up and shake it up break it and shake it um so all of that is helping and of course the more denser heavier older form of vibrational state in your field wherever that comes from the more angst and resistance is in there um you know that makes it a little bit more challenging because of the nature of the soul's magnetics it's like those heavier things are much, much more magnetically attracted to the soul and vice versa. It's like that the two are interwoven. And that's where you can get into the, the cycles that people get into of the supermassive black holes that I've said about before, where one is pulled into a gravitational field of, in effect, their own supermassive black hole. And round and round they go. So, photonic light massive with loads going on with that at the moment different frequencies within that photonic light or different wave bands radio stations within that photonic light in which to tune to which may come automatically to you when you're in a quiet state or in your dream state or meditating um, different ways of that information coming through but it is coming through to everybody, whether they're conscious of it coming through or not. They may just feel extra tired, extra agitated, extra emotional, you know, just need more rest, changes going on in their body. If they're not, not conscious of what the ascension process is or anything. Um, as part of this, people being drawn into your life in a rapid way in a rapid state in a rapid manner because everything is so rapid at the moment we go back to that zero point everything moving so fast and yet still at the same time people coming in rapidly and you're helping them and they're helping you and sometimes there's this little quantum entanglement thing going on and sometimes there are agreements on soul or, or in the spiritual energy to help one another at that point in one another's life. Or sometimes it's just such a close resonant frequency match that you that you are 
like on the same wave band and being drawn in to do this amazing dance and sometimes it's for long term and and they are big connections again for long term long term lovers long term relationships long term partners and sometimes they are a, a temporary dance of energy but but that the whole thing seems to be accelerating significantly so people coming in people going out and that there are some people watching this might say well my life doesn't not mine theirs you know it doesn't seem like that and the same few stable people are in that and yeah there, there seems to be some people that you you walk many years of your life with or perhaps a lifetime with and then others that are just in and out of the orbit really quickly and i would say in this in this process that we're in that the the walking a lifetime with us is, is in the minority really um simply because for you to be around people that keep accelerating their frequency at the same rate as you is um wonderful and a gift and of course does happen but often it happens that somebody in a family is accelerating into these different radio station levels and the rest of the family are staying on the original radio station or one or two members perhaps in an extended family are changing radio station so like I say it's all interlinked and it's not that one is better than the other or one is more advanced than the other or any of that it is what it is it's I'm talking about frequency I'm talking about vibration I'm talking about resonance I'm talking about energy and I'm talking about what is happening at this time which is affecting each and every one of us whether we are conscious of it or not whether we're consciously on an ascension process and buying into that whether we don't even know what ascension is whether we're male female um, everything you know anything and everything in between that you know wherever we're coming from on that each and every one of us is being affected it's impossible not to be when we are swimming in an electromagnetic soup that has been effectively supercharged which brings me to the next point earthing and this is a, a valuable gift and lesson i've been given just recently where I no longer call grounding grounding and I call earthing earthing because we go back to us being electromagnetic vehicles that are bringing in now huge quantities of, of photonic light moving through us we are photonic light that we need to earth more than ever and you know the best way to do that again barefoot on the grass um connecting with nature just earthing 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 has become absolutely vital so that your vehicle your human vehicle can function um, better and function more easily and uh, there's less short circuiting with that volume of stuff coming in again if you think of a thousand watt going for a 60 watt light bulb um, the whole system as it's been upgraded upgraded is running energy through it differently so balancing um, things out but earthing I've been told to call it earthing from here on in um, earthing the easiest way to earth is is just connecting with nature and that discharge of your energy with that but the equal receiving the receiving of energy so there is again a dance as there is a dance with all the people that you are connecting with and interacting with and sometimes that is just a dance and then you've danced but sometimes that dance is going to be for very many years or the, maybe the rest of your life and, and you know we dance with people and energy for different reasons which is sometimes very challenging for us because we can really love and care for those energies as a as humans emotional humans and sometimes they're not going to dance with us with us for very long but sometimes they are you know and sometimes we we come back in and dance with them again a, a little bit later on there has to be an equal giving and receiving of energy across the board in every area of your life now because you've got to get this down to electromagnetics and flow 
and positive and negative charge and um, you know resistors and resistance within the electromagnetic field there has to be a receipt an incoming and also giving out to, to this this dance has to be happening continuously now so surrounded by people that can give back to you or situations that give back to you as much as you are giving out otherwise there's an immediate imbalance there um i know how hard it is as a human believe me um but to lessen the amount of resistant charge within your field is when there are things that are pissing you off upsetting you making you distressed just try and let it pass through your field try not to hold on to it with your head <laughs> try not to hold on to it i know it's difficult it's an ongoing process it's because we're doing something incredibly difficult as human beings which has never been done this way before and uh we're doing amazingly at it the human race is doing amazingly but it is an ongoing process so just trying that every day as well this giving and receiving dance of energy earthing vitally important and really following that guidance which is opening up constantly still further as we are becoming aware of more wave bands that we weren't aware of before we got to the point where we let's say we're evolved enough to be aware of them so more changes are happening you know changes that we never thought we would be contemplating undertaking changes in terms of our work our career our life our lifestyle where we're living who we're living with the people we're connecting with who we are attracted to who is attracted to us there are massive unprecedented changes going on with this now and again there might be some of your regular family members or regular contacts or regular friends that keep walking alongside you with this and are changing at a rate where you are not agitating to one another's fields but are actually complementary to one another's fields and there will be others that will be bouncing out um, because it's not just a clash of energies it's, it's two different circuitries going on and one can almost like not short circuit the other but kind of along those lines really it's like clash of the titans <laughs> you know you can see um you know, lightning um I mean on a personal note but also to do with this fire energy seems to be really strong at the moment i've had my own personal experiences of that but we won't go there um but fire energy and um seems to be very strong at the moment and again it's all associated with what i'm saying you know um the energy coming into the into the into the fields and, and you know you notice i'm doing this with my hand all the time here my hands all the time here so unprecedented acceleration at speeds that you know we wouldn't have believed possible i remember bringing out a video i think it was in 2016 called the year of compression at the very beginning of this intensity for me then and now well we've got so used to living at those pressures and that pressure has ex in increased exponentially since then so it's everything is so much faster now I mean as we can tell by we're halfway through june already and yet there is this zero point stillness like that like the like the eye of the storm within the speed of which everything is going because it's all according to your perception uh so yeah <sighs> basically we're getting to a point here where depending on where you're at in your evolution will depend on how much choice you really think you have in this because people say it's down to free will and and free will is free will to a point that you're aware 
and how much really is free will when when there's so much programming and other stuff and people tangled up and quantumly entangled with things how much is that is their free will really free well, well we are at a point here now where it's almost like everything is instant like instant karma instant karma instant drama and insta instant banana rama no there isn't anything to do with banana rama i just said that um because it rhymed um everything is instant now it's just instant it's very fast instant consequences instant crap instant shit instant wonderful some of it is uh, you know we will react to that because how would we not react to it if something is really painful or upsetting we are going to have a reaction to that an emotional reaction to it because it's called being human you just have to again let it pass through your field because if you hold on to it in your field you have the very real danger of it linking with like a synapse to a familiar theme somewhere embedded in your field and then once it gets into soul magnetics it all lunks in and then you go round and then before you know it you're around a supermassive black hole here we go again so in other words whatever comes up you've got to face it and embrace it you've got to face it and embrace it and not bury the feelings and emotions that come up but rather just move through them and let them move through you so that your frequency comes into a harmonic wave band state again what you resist persists as they say but this is far more an advanced than that in a way because what you resist now is is causing havoc and terrible suffering and pain in in your in you as human beings because your wiring has changed the wiring before zero point field of consciousness and unified consciousness was becoming more commonplace people hitting those points your electrical wiring in you say you were a house you're a wire you were wired a particular way that was really encouraging that encouraging that separation encouraging that non-unification well now the say you are a house and your electrical wiring has been upgraded attempting to run it the way it was run before is nigh on impossible um, as we are finding out very quickly and uncomfortably so again it comes back to those simple things of living your truth expressing your truth however uncomfortable it is to express it and also being truthful with yourself and accepting and recognizing those things within yourself that need help those things within yourself that need to be made more conscious those lifestyle changes that have to be made in order for you to continue in the human vehicle and continue the ascension process all of these things are connected with connecting consciously both within yourself and with other people and within the process that we are in and on that note because i don't want this to be too long i am going to end this video sending you all the best with lots of love um i am going to continue the youtube channel i am making a lot of changes and i've got a lot of changes to come um, and may even open up another YouTube channel or open up another avenue of ways of 
meaning that I can express my energy and my consciousness in ways that I enjoy and I'm passionate about, but that, you know, people may also get benefit from and enjoy and are passionate about. So on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. Take care. Remember to breathe. And um, I was going to say, remember, we're all in the same boat. But we're not. Some are in the water, some aren't in the boat, some are on the land and some are in the boat. So remember, we're all, we've all got this golden opportunity. And we are all at different points, whether we're on the river bank, in the river, or in the boat or wherever we are. And let's just try and remember that and uh, our humanity and help each other along no matter where we are as, as we're going through that so we all need a helping hand take care bye